Hello everyone, welcome back to this video series on clinical SAS ADAM programming. In this video, we will see yet another example of criteria flags in ADAM BDS dataset, again using vital signs as an example. So in the earlier videos, we have seen how to create criteria flags based on result alone, which is eval value alone. But here we will see an example wherein we are defining the criteria for a single parameter, but the criteria is based on both analysis result and the change value from baseline. So we will be populating the criteria on all rows and flag it on met records. So let us now move to the specification and see how, what it says. So crit one, it says set to systolic pressure greater than 160 and change greater than 15. So here we are checking whether the result value is greater than 60 and at the same time change from baseline value has to be greater than 15. So we are populating this text to indicate the criteria that we are checking for on all the records where param CD is equal to systolic blood pressure. And then crit one FL, it says for the records where param CD is equal to systolic blood pressure, set to Y on the records where eval is, I think this was supposed to be greater than 160. So here it is saying as 100, but as per the criteria, so this is supposed to be 160. So we are supposed to populate it as on the records where eval is greater than 160 and change greater than 15. So otherwise set to N if change is not null. So we will now see how to programmatically implement this. So here on the left hand side, I have my SAS program and on the right hand side, I have my input data set and the intermediate data sets and the final data set that is getting generated. So here I am creating a data set named VS01 by using my input data set VS. So by applying a date format for both ADT and TRT SDT variables. So let us take a look at the input data set here, which is VS01. So here I have data for two subjects for systolic blood pressure and then I have result values and base and change also calculated. So now let us see how to populate our crit1 and crit1fl. So here if we see we are using vs01 as input and creating vs02. We are checking if param n is equal to 1. So if we see for param n is 1 on the records where param cd is equal to sysbp. So instead of checking for param cd is equal to sysbp, I have written param n is equal to 1. As param cd and param n will have 1 to 1 relationship, this does not cause us any harm. So if param cd is equal to sysbp or param n is equal to 1, then do. On all the rows of sysbp so we were asked to set the criterion to systolic pressure greater than 160 and change is equal change greater than 15. so we are populating the crit1 on all the records where param n is equal to 1 which means all the records of sysbp crit1 would be populated but for crit1 fl there was a condition so for crit1 fl so we were asked to check if the result is greater than 160 and change is greater than 15. So if both of the conditions are met, then we were asked to populate it as Y. So both eval has to be greater than 160 on that record and change has to be greater than 15 on that record. Only then the criteria is said to be met and it will be indicated with Y value in grade one FL. Otherwise, if change is not is equal to missing, so we are setting it to N. So on all the other records where these two conditions are not met, so it will be left null, which means that the criteria is not available. So we are saying whether it is met or whether it is not met or whether it is uh, not available. So let us see what are the cases we have in data. So let us take a look at our VS02 and then see crit1. So here crit1 is populated on all the rows of sysbp. So that it was systolic pressure greater than 160 and change greater than 15. So if we take a look at the week one data, so here the analysis result is 154 and the change value is 4. So neither of the conditions is met, So but change is not missing. So we, are, we were asked to set it to n. So here if we see, systolic pressure greater than 160 and change greater than 15. But here we do not have the eval value populated. So when we do not have the eval value populated, change will auto be automatically be missing because change is nothing but eval minus base. So this is not available. We are not able to check whether the criteria is met or not. 
So because of the presence of missing values in eval and change. So we have to leave this as null because we were not evaluable, not able to evaluate it. So in order to say it as no, we need to have the result and then it should uh, indicate that the condition is actually not met. So we cannot assume that the absence of values as no. So here, if we take a look at the case here, so if here in this case, eval is greater than 160, which is 175 here, and then change is 25 here. So all that was needed to be met is eval was supposed to be greater than 160, this is met, and then change is supposed to be greater than 15. So this is also met. So we are populating it as Y here. Similarly, on the next record, 172 and 22 for eval and change respectively both of them are greater than the condition specified in the criteria so we are populating it as y here so again on the next record if we see the result is 140 so this is not met and then the change is minus 9 which is not greater than 15 so this is not available so we are not populating it here so if we take a look at the second subject so change is missing on all the records because the subject didn't have miss uh, baseline value so we cannot evaluate the criteria so we have left it null so this is one way of implementing your criteria flag which is based on your eval and change variables Thank you for watching and keep learning.